throw your options. You can use, you can even use Anvil, but Hay was up there and negates Anvil. It, it seems, okay, it sounds ridiculous. It sounds like a ludicrous take, but when we see it in action, who knows, maybe you'll be a believer by the end of the set. I will be interested to see where my heart lies at the end of this winner's semi-final set. On the other side of things, our babies with the beloved crocodile against the notorious menace that is Steven Minecraft. Here we go, the combo's coming out, the jabs. Going for the jab follow-ups, potentially. Nope. Already got a TNT set up going already, just keeping Al all the way in the corner. That one hit of armor is not going to stop the rest of the up smash connecting. And finally, the crown getting something on the board here for Al. Oh my goodness, yep. and the extended hitbox there, using the minecart to just extend that up air hitbox. And what has started as a pretty decent lead for Solid Gamer has just ended in one long advantage string for Al Babies, which feels weird to say about Cable. Absolutely. I mean, you can have the most pristine advantage state with Steve. However, all it takes from K Roll is one good read, two good reads, or just even projectile pressure in general, which is great at deleting blocks. You're going to be in a rough situation with very little resources. Yeah, we can see both of these players just returning to a pretty patient neutral here. Of course, Owl is going to have plenty of experience playing against Steve players, but you are playing against one of the finest, but that up air. I believe his head is intangible during that move, okay, Rules Affair. Yep. So just completely ignoring that minecart and sealing that stock really early. And that is something that is something that Solid Game is really gonna have to keep in mind if he wants to win this set. Minecart is not something that you can just kind of throw out for fun. When you've got an option that can kill that early, oh my goodness, nearly eating a forward smash. Again, we've seen we've seen Steve's be reliant on Minecraft because again, it is, it is uh, quite frankly one of the best moves in the game. We have Onin, we have Yanni, Didi, and we, the one thing in common is that we all use Minecraft. But in a matchup like this, all it takes is one good read on that burst option. And right now, yep, that Nair going to kill. You're going to be very low on resources. You need to camp, but how do you do it with that pressure coming out from out? Yeah, that short hop down air has such deceptively little lag that I feel like Solid Gamer may have thought he could get a punish on that and then just got met by Neutralite instead. But finally, the up smash is going to seal that first stock for Solid Gamer. But you've got two stocks against a pretty mischievous crocodile right here. Absolutely. There it is. There it was. And again, Owl hasn't even brought out the counter on the powered minecart, which kills Steve at 50. Yeah, this is the thing. Really strong counters can really just ruin Steve's day. Trying to get some stuff started there. I thought we were going to see something crazy, but Owl Baby's electing to keep it a little bit more conservative in that situation, just making sure that they can get back to stage instead of trying to go something for star points. That's for later in the set. Absolutely, and now we're potentially going to see the, oh, yep, the cage. Here we go. The minecart follow-up. Owl narrowly going to avoid it, and the cannon pressure up there. Good anvil coming through from Solid Gamer, and now he just needs one opening, potentially, with a diamond, and this could be an even game, but if your jumps are getting scouted out, if your minecart jumps are getting scouted out, or better yet, your rolls, you're going to be in a very bad situation. Just like that. There it goes. There it goes. The I really liked in that situation, Owl went for the cannonball to kind of cover horizontally in front of him, and it forced Solid Gamer to make a choice of whether he was going to recover high or low, and then when Solid recovered high, Owl was there ready with a hitbox to try and catch that minecart over the top. It's really, really good coverage, the fact that it's going to force either the high option or the low option, both of which you can react to. Absolutely. Again, in this matchup, I, I believe you saw, if you're a solid gamer now, you potentially want to take Owl to a more stone-based stage. So perhaps your PS2s, your hollow bastions, or yeah. even your uh, your battlefields. Because yeah. right now, um, it seems boxing up up close against that will doesn't seem to be uh, working out as well. We've seen some Delta music coming out, potentially a power up. I have, to, I have to say one thing I will completely commend about Solid Gamer is that his music choices are 10 out of 10. I was there on the regen stream. I was hearing all those music choices belting out over the speakers. I was like, this man's got taste. This man has got taste. Absolutely. Speaking of taste, we are seeing the Ooh. angling. We'll see if uh, he has the sauce. Yeah. For that last game. I think this is the thing. Again, K will being one of these characters where if you haven't got that matchup experience, pretty similar to Steve, where like if you don't have that matchup down, it can be a really nasty surprise, and there's a lot of like specific counterplay that you need to implement. I feel like maybe a solid gamer is more comfortable against this character specifically with Inkling, who I believe was one of his first mains. It's going to be a lot better for Solid Gamer. That split-second decision that you get from situational awareness 
I feel like it's going to be way more prominent compared to other characters where it's like you've got to have that half second to think, oh, what option should I go for? And by the time you thought of it, it's already gone. Absolutely. He's inkling, certainly, Solid Gamer's most played character. Used to be an Elite Smash Wi-Fi Menace, would you believe, under the tag SS Beyonce. But now, coming offline, doing bits, and contending evenly, one of the best players in the country. Ooh, and a very strange, that weak hit of the up smash leading to the jab trade right there. And we can see, trying to get the down egg going. Up throw up air might seal it at this percent. Oh, K rule. That heavy armor is going well, not heavy armor, but the heavy weight. Going to, to pay dividends for Owl in this particular stock, and so it has to win neutral once again. Yeah, and this is the thing. England's neutral in this matchup is so, so dominant. That back air can lead into so much, and it's so, so safe. Even on carry, it's ridiculously safe. They're trying to get the trade with the splatter shot and the cannonball, and it's just not quite working out. That cannonball just beefing its way through. As we know, Inkling's damage output absolutely ludicrous, especially on a character with a big of a hurt box as King K rule. But the question is, how do you kill? How are you yeah, doing this? This is where things get really, really scary. And that was just one little ledge trap situation, and you took 70% from it. And it's so, so weird. I'm saying all of these statements, and if you look at the two characters, you think I'll be talking about the other one. When you talk about these long ledge trap sequences and these advantage states up to 80%, I don't feel like I'm talking about King K rule. And yet, here we are with Al Babies' King K. Rool that is putting in utter work at this tournament. In this bizarre situation, this bizarro universe, where K. Rool has the greatest advantage and Inkling relying on the stray hits. Let's see if Solid can potentially get a roll or some kind of stray hit that can allow him to potentially get an early kill, but against King K. Rool, I don't think that's quite possible. Yeah, and just using the up tilt to smack Solid Gamer out of the roller there. And Solid managing to get a little bit of ink reflecting with that belly counter. Making sure that those splat bombs are not relevant and not quite being able to connect that second back air. But again, that splatter shot, such a good option, but really the long range of the forward. It's deceptively long, that forward. Absolutely. Certainly one of Cable's best tools, but let's trap sequence coming out. Up smash, going to fortunately seal it. Yeah. Now, we know about Inkling's advantage, but he needs to kill the kill. Yeah, beautiful tech chase there from Solid Gamer, managing to even it back up, not quite getting the strong hit of the down air. I don't feel like it would have killed regardless, but in the same vein. And this is something that we saw J Sugar trying to do, but I feel like K Rule might be a little bit better equipped to do. Trying to get a hitbox to go over that splatter shot, and the armor on that neutral air is going to be so, so good of Solid Gamer. It's just holding the B button there. Oh, you're and, not oh making it back. God. Oh, LeBron James coming through. <laughs> I thought this was multiverses, but no, we're playing Smash. Oh my goodness, the double dunk so nice. He had to do it twice. What a statement from our babies there. 2-0 up in the set. Is it time for the mid -min? It might be time for the mid -min. We've seen the Steve. We've seen the Inkling. We've got a mid -min. we've got a Banjo. No, nope, sticking, sticking it out. Inkling. I don't know. In fairness to Solid Gamer, I do agree with this pick. It was going very, very even. It was just that last little string that kind of took everything away there. And you've really, it's so tempting to see like the end result on rather like the game itself. You might think, oh, well, I lost his Inkling. It's not going to work. But like Solid Gamer being experienced enough to say, well, actually, no, Inkling was working. I just got spiked a couple of times. And that's, you know, quite easy to prevent but certainly our babies is not going to let up pretty much having a perfect stock here 74 78 percent so far on solid gamer this dastardly crocodile is getting away with murder right now absolutely again this sounds bizarre to say but k Rule gets one opening and his inkling I mean, your opponent is mostly aware of what your best reversal options are. And Owl is scouting out most of them. But we can see they're finally getting quite a large string. Imagine to get Owl up to 70%, but that forward air nearly killing at 90%. And just the turnaround grab into the back throw. That really disgusting horizontal angle that the back throw sends at is being so, so vital for Owl getting these kills at the moment. Absolutely, that super jump going to be insane for Inkling's recovery, but it's not enough, especially when it's laggy like that, despite having a hitbox. And Solid Game are going to be at a bit of, at a bit of a deficit, potentially needs this ledge trap to even it out. Yeah, and we can see just Al trying to neutral get up into the splat bomb and then just getting thrown back off stage. Another cheeky little conversion there, the back air into up till. Is the up throw up air finally going to do it? There we go, 156. This is one inkling conversion away. However, Owl has also got very similar conversions 
conversions with his own character. Absolutely, and even though Ink is on board for Owl, Solid needs to close neutral here. Hang on, we're getting the up tilt strings coming out. The buff up tilt going to do a few dividends for Inkling's advantage. We'll see if it has enough to even this game out. And right now, it's seeming like it. Yeah, and we can just see just tanking through. I think that was either Art Smash or another Splatter Bomb, but certainly being covered in Ink is not the thing that you want right now. Oh my goodness, I nearly got a conversion, but managing to get an up tilt anyway. Solid Gamer once again, stuck on this right hand side of the stage and getting another up tilt for his troubles. Solid Gamer on his last stock and winners potentially. So difficult to contend with that by ledge. And right now, because it, it scouts out your it scouts out your panic rollers, it scouts out your neutral, it scouts out your jumps from ledge. What is your option? And the question is, Solid Gamer's gonna need to figure that out. Otherwise, this could be a 3-0 in favor of Al. And what another beautiful moment there from Al, having so much awareness of the character, using the armor of the side B just to get, just to nullify any attempt of an offstage edge guard. And another one there, just countering to get rid of it. And what a stunning air dodge weight there from Solid Gamer, just knowing that, okay, he's probably gonna go for the, he's probably gonna go for that air dodge, just to try and get that up out. I'm gonna wait, react, forward air, boom, you stop, stop. And now he has a pretty sizable lead, Ink on board. And now all it will take will be one other string, potentially an up throw up air into a potential another weight or a splat bomb to get that extension. And he'll actually be in a very comfortable position leading into the start. Oh my goodness, I'm just trying to get any kind of conversion going. Owl Babies is slowly but surely clawing his way back into this solid game of trying to get the roll in and just grabs Owl on that side platform, finally gets a game on the board there. It's so, so tempting to just go for a defensive option in that situation. When you're stuck on the platform, you're in the midst of a tech chase, but Solid saying, actually, you know what? I know you're gonna wait around for me. I'm gonna take the initiative. I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna take this dog. I'm gonna take this game. And we'll see if he can carry that momentum, that same energy, those hard reads into this next one. Potentially, we'll see the same stage once again, unless, Smashville, interesting. This is arguably, well, according to most of Inklings, Cosmos being one of them, well, used to, you know, having been yeah, one yeah. of them. Um, <laughs> he did believe that Smashville was Inklings' best age because, you know, like, you know, they had more room to weave, more room to weave around, more room to apply pressure to their opponent. But now, this could actually be in favor of Al because, as we know, Solid will be forced to deal with that crowd pressure a lot. Yeah, I think definitely the smaller stage is going to be so, so good. Owl has been getting these like 50, 60% strings basically just from scrapping and using that armor to his advantage and giving Solid Gamer less room to run around is going to be so, so vital. It will force Solid Gamer to scrap more, which has been realistically more Owl favored in these scenarios. Absolutely, and now, despite that, we are seeing a relatively even game, because again, Inkling's there, being relatively safe, gonna have a lot of uh, potential combo extensions and follow-ups you can get from it as well. Ooh, and just getting the roller conversion there, only managed to get a forward air. On a complete side note, I love the fact that K. Rool's up throw is just him taking you to the boot. Like, <laughs> to me, there is no rhyme or reason. They're just like, what should we do with his up throw? And it's like, what if he had charged out the size of toss? They were like, yo. You are spitting. You are spitting. We'll make him be. Yeah, exactly. It's so... I just... I love this character. He's so goofy and he's so silly. And Owl showing that he is, you know, pretty damn good in the right circumstances right now. Both these players returning to neutral. But just look at all these hitboxes that you can throw out as K. Rule. That is something that is so scary. Again, when you think of like a super heavy, you don't think of ridiculous frame data and no landing lag. And yet you're just seeing Owl throw out these forward airs after forward airs, just creating this massive wall of scaly feet that Solid Gamer really can't make his way around. Absolutely, K. Rule now looking to be a bit more of a specialist character thriving in those one or two situations, but that's the thing, Owl is making those situations happen. Yes, 100%. But we can see, again, a very, very delicate moment in the set right now. Both of these players at very high percent. Pretty much most of anything K. Rule has got will kill, but the back throw, finding those two or three little things that will take a stock at that point and managing to get a lead started with the armor on the dash attack and the rolling of the eyes from Solid Game. A little hint of frustration are beginning to leak their way into this game. However, you can't afford to be frustrated at a time like this because you still have a relatively, well, not a decent lead, but a solid standing of winning this game. And an air dodge, oh. and on a stage like Smashville as well, where the lower blast zones are so high up, and bad air dodge off the ledge is just going to seal your doom. It's so, so unfortunate, but this is, you know, a beam of light 
the solid gamer right now. And you've got to hold on to that light and you've got to keep running towards it, my friend, if you're going to get into this game five and hopefully into winners finals, Big Cargo. Solid gamer, definitely playing a little bit more relaxed now that he has that stock to play around with. Potentially trying to fish for more openings in Owl's neutral, but Owl, as we all know, when you're down a stock, you need to take a few more risks. And we're going to be seeing quite a few more from Owl right now. Essentially a crazy edge guard. We can see Al going a little bit too far there, trying to get anything sorted. We have got once again another tech chase just meeting him with the forward air, knowing that Al is going to go for quite for quite the big mash and reflection elegance going on. We have got, we've got a very orange crocodile on our screen, Kaya. Yeah, we moved from King K. Rule to a Jaffa Cake. And now we'll see if uh, potentially he can... Oh, he's waiting up the ink, but doesn't matter. Your ink is back on. We can see, yeah, yeah there we go. Like just waiting for that moment again. Uh, we've seen that. We saw it with the air dodge against Owl in one of those earlier games, and we saw it with the crown armor in this game. Solid just waiting for that defensive option and killing on reaction. And we have got a game five set here. This would be a big win for Solid Gamer. Absolutely, because all it takes, Solid Game has always been on the cusp of getting that big win, whether it be Pelly, Tarek, Darkstalker, or at least one beginning with this. There was another person out there. Mm. <laughs> Although now he is on the cusp of achieving that one big win, that one breakout that he needs. See so if he can get it here. And the thing is, is that, you know, some people might argue, oh, well, you know, it's Owl's K rule. It's like, yeah, but it's, it's still, it's still putting in work. Like, this K rule is going to free up, like, all but about 20 players in the UK. Let's be real here. And obviously, Sob is going to be one of, want to be one of those one, one of those 20 people that doesn't get freed up. But of course, Owl is like, ah, you can go on my list. I'll put you on my list. I want to get into winners' finals. Thank you very much, sir. And so now we're seeing the same kind of neutral solid opting to get up, opting for prank, uh, prank ink uh, optimization over um, stray hits, and that seems to be paying dividends because his damage output is multiplied, and when it's multiplied, you know he's going to have an easier time getting that up throw up. I think we're beginning to see a little bit of conditioning from previous games with Owl Babies. We were seeing a lot of these dash attacks in the corner to just call out these like aggressive options that Solid has been going for. That was a really disgusting kill, by the way. That up there is so ridiculously strong. But there were two or three moments in that previous stock where Owl, instead of going for that aggressive dash attack, went in for the dash grab instead. And I feel like Solid has really got to bear in mind that despite that conditioning from the previous game, Owl is now beginning to mix that up. Absolutely that. Wow, up throw up there, going to see that. I'm not surprised at 140, but still, I'm not bit surprised that Inkling could kill with that in the first place, considering his opponent had um, that big of a percent. But I suppose, up throw up there, we are going to have a pretty lenient confirm when it comes to more things. Even the game itself was like, wait, really? There was no kill spark or anything? We're like, wait, hang on, he's dead? Oh, I guess, <laughs> I guess, sure, go on then. But this is where things can get really, really scary. These early percents where K. Rool can just Punish a lot of things on hit. Now, thank you for being at 46%. These long strings, these tech chases are really well timed. Get up attack there from Owl Babies. Could have led into a ridiculous amount of percent. But of course, Solid Gamer, even with a whiff tech chase, is still going to keep it going. Absolutely. And now, well, no effect coming out from Owl. And now he's going to be inked for that. As we know, all it takes now is potentially another neutral opening, followed by that deadly up throw up there. But it doesn't matter. Sour Spot going to send him to the left. Yeah, that's the thing at that kind of percent, even the sour spot is still going to kill. Inkling being a little bit on the lighter side at 150%. K Rule can still make it back and the hit and the hit from the little helicopter crown is gonna take it. And the up throw, no up air. Trying Ellie. to get the up smash. You can feel these little moments of desperation coming out from Solid Gamer. You know how close he is to it, and he's also aware that he's on. His last stock right now at only 40% here. Again, that is not too much damage, but 65 is now getting a little bit dicey, Gaia. Absolutely. I mean, when you're on your last stock, you are just a little bit more desperate. Fortunately, that hunger for that stock going to play out in Solid Gamer's favor. But now, you have a bit of a mountain to climb. But with Ink on board, <laughs> Never mind. You win neutral. You're out of here. See ya. That crown. Gonna steal it, and now we know why he's called King K. Rool. Oh my god. What a reversal. So, it was so scary because it was like, I was about to make this one comment about how like, our uh, solid game.